Hello YouTube, welcome back to this week's video. This is 2E0 IQJ. So this radio here is a Quansheng UVK5. And in this video I'm going to show you how to install a custom firmware to this radio. And you will need your programming cables. So the ones I've got here, this is a Wake Snow, I got this from Amazon, about 12 quid. Uh, if you've got a UVK5R or something like that, or UV5R programming cable bare thing, with a standard connection there, then you should be good to go. Now the good thing about this is you can do it directly through the web browser. And when we head over onto the computer, I'll show you the website I'm using, and I'll show you how to do it through your web browser. Now, to get the radio to go into the mode where you can update the firmware, press and hold the PTT switch and turn it on. You'll see there at the top of the radio, you've got the bright light that comes on. Now, when it's updating the firmware, the light at the top will then flash to say it's activating the firmware, flashing the firmware to, to the radio, and you'll see a progress bar over on the computer. So let's go to the computer, and I'll show you how to flash the radio. Okay, so we're over on the computer, and I'm running Mac OS 10.15.7. Yeah, a bit of an old Mac from 2012, but it still runs the internet perfectly, and it still boots within about 15, 10 to 15 seconds. I'll press on System Report, and go down to USB, and it says there, USB Serial, which is my cable, and that's on USB 3. Now, if you go onto this website, which I'll link in the description below, just click it, it takes you to the website, You'll see here, you've got various different firmware. So we've got 0 0.19. You can look at the manual in the wiki section there. And you can look at what the new new changes are. You've got the source code and stuff there if you want to look at that. You've got 0 0.18, flash with browser, 1.7, and so on. Now all I'm going to do now is click on flash with browser. And this flasher box will appear. At this point, you turn the radio on and hold the PTT switch down. So the light comes on at the top. And all I'm going to do is click here. I'm going to select USB serial and press on connect. And you see there, it's now ready to flash the firmware. And it's going to go up to 100 so it won't take too long. It says, successfully flashed the firmware and the radio now reboots. Now I'm sure here, you should be able to press on browse and select your own file there, put it in there. I've not tried that yet. All I did was click on Flash Firmware. So let's go back over to the radio and I'll show you some of the new features. Okay, so let's turn the radio on. Let me zoom in. I'll turn the radio on. You'll see now the display might look slightly different. Now what the firmware's done is it allows us to receive ATF signals and we can also go right away down to 10 meters and 4 meters and so on. I think it goes up to 1300 megs. So I can do an 070500. There we go, you can receive 4 meters. So you can do an 027555. And there we go, can receive the triple five. Now if I zoom in on the radio, you'll see there it says USB, because this radio's now got USB. Don't know how sensitive it is, or anything yet i'll be playing with this in the week and to activate the mode just press the menu button when i go down on the menus so it should says it says d m o d u press the menu button you can select usb am and fm so leave it on usb now if i do uh one three four nine hundred and it's almost gone into AM, and I believe there's an AM fix. If I go down, let's see if we can find it. Where is it? Come on. There we go, AM fix, and that is now turned on. So it should receive the AM band a bit better. Let me zoom out. Press exit. And so else you can do is you can press the function button, and number five, and there we go. We get a spectrum analyzer like display and a bar graph with things shoot up. Press the PTT switch, and there we go. You can use it to go with the arrow key up and down on the frequencies now, and you can use the menu button there to cycle between the options here. So you've got things like LKAS, LKA, and so on. Now, I'm not sure what they do, I'll be playing around with this in the week. And seeing how sensitive this is on receiving sideband because 10 meters has been wide open. 
Now, I don't think you can transmit on any of them bands. I think it still only transmits on 2 and 70. But yeah, you've now got a wide band receiver in your pocket. So do you actually need a scanner? You could just buy one of these for 30 quid, flash it with the firmware, and you'll be good to go. Anyhow, if you found the video of some use and what to do, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, the other button seems to work too. Drop a comment below if you've done the mod to your radio, what, what firmware that you're using, and how sensitive it is. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. This is 2E0 IQJ. Seven threes for now.